Good morning, ladies. My name is Paula Dunn, and I'm the founder of the Limited Edition Leadership Academy, coming to you live from my home studio. So today, I would love to talk to you about creating a mindset reset. Now, for specifically for those that are in their final year of high school, um, in year 12, uh, it, it is very critical for you this year um, to set your mind straight and be focused and determined and ready to go when it comes to the end of the year for your HSC exams. So what can we do to create uh, a stronger, more um, courageous and confident focus um, for you today that you can start to implement immediately going forward. Um, so when you get to the 15th of October, which is the start date of your HSC exams, that you're in the zone, you're ready to conquer life with confidence, however that looks like for you. Sound good? Awesome. So the first, first thing I want to introduce you to is the be, do, have, concept. Now, B means who do I need to be today? To What actions do I need to take to have what I want tomorrow? So have a think about that for a moment. And as you're sitting here before you're starting your school, school day, um, I'd like you to jot down the word be, the word do, and the, and the word have. What I'll get you to do first is start with the word have. So by the end of 2020, what is your ideal have? What do you want in your life by the end of 2020? So is if it, for example, is to ace your, your HSC exams and get into the university course of your choice, then you write that down in your have column. Do that now. Okay. So. Now that you've got written down what you want to have, and for those that are still a bit sketchy and not really sure what you want to have, then maybe start with something a little bit smaller, like, you know, getting reducing your stress and anxiety levels for the next uh, six months so you can actually focus on what you need to achieve. I mean, that's fine too. Okay. So the next thing we want to focus on is the B. So who do I need to be in all of this? So, for example, I mean, you know, we didn't see this coming with the coronavirus. And, you know, to be frank, I, you know, I haven't experienced anything like this except for the GFC. But then at, the, at that time, it didn't compromise my health in any way. So, you know, a lot of us are probably sitting there wondering, you know, wishing, hoping, dreaming that the author, you know, that the education department will close down the HSC or give us some sort of free pass to get into university. Now, it sounds really cool, doesn't it? You know, that hoping and praying that this happens. But in reality, um, this is a really great, see this as an opportunity. I know it's it's not really ideal for you right now, but you know what? There's a lot, there'll be a lot of things in life. Um, that will happen. There'll be a lot of big things, unexpected events, tragedies, disappointments, letdowns that you will come across in your life. You know, all your plans will be thrown out of the window for whatever reason. So what we need to do is that we can't control the circumstances we're in, but we can control how we react to it and how we respond to it. Now, that's easily said than done. However, there are tips and tricks that you can do to, to regain control because at the end of the day, what we want to do is create calm out of chaos, create certainty out of uncertainty and, and take you through the next six months with a sense of confidence and a sense of strength, inner strength that you can and will achieve anything that you put your mind to. Now, I've been working in the corporate space for um, 20 years and as a leader, and one thing I can tell you based on my personal experience for myself and for those in which I've worked with, that if we are not focused and centred and in control of our own lives, we can't, we can't, we're not good for anyone else. So we need to get back to our basics. So how do we do this? So back to being B. So who do I need to be? What kind of individual do I need to be in order to have my dream results at the end of the year? So 
get clear on the type of person you want to be. So what are you feeling right now? So what are you saying to yourself right now? Jot it down. Now, what I want you to do is we're going to really, really uncover and be raw with our fears and emotions. We need to bring this to the surface so we can face the demon head on and then silence that demon once and for all. Now, let me ex- let me give you an example, and I'm sure you're not the only one feeling this way, even though you may feel like it. I surveyed 100 high school girls in year, in year 10, and I looked at their confidence levels and asked them various questions, and the top three things that the girls felt like they couldn't couldn't have didn't have confidence in was their identity so who they were their beliefs um their their self-esteem their confidence levels um you know being feeling like that they're not in control of their environment so they feel like that they're just reactive and responding to whatever's going on and feeling stressed under pressure so when you're stressed under pressure You forget everything, right? You draw a mental blank. You have anxiety. Your palms are sweaty. Your heart's racing. um, You can't take anything in. You can't learn anything. And this is what we want to do. We want to silence that so you can feel like you're in control and you can continually learn and thrive in this time of uncertainty. Okay? Yeah? Sounds really cool, huh? So what I want you to do now is I want you to take some time whether you do it with me now over over live or as homework during the day, I want you to really write down on a piece of paper every single fear that you are feeling right this moment about your about your future right now. So some examples could be um, you're afraid of failing. You're afraid of doing the wrong thing and making a mistake. You lack self-confidence and belief in yourself that you can and will achieve what you want at the end of the year because of what's going on around you right now. You're feeling pressured by your parents or there maybe there's some family dynamics at home that isn't um, supporting your learning capabilities. You know, everyone's under pressure. Maybe maybe your parents or one parent or both parents have lost their jobs. So there's a bit of emotional stress there for you. You know, maybe you're really worried about the future and you don't know what's going to happen at the end of the year. You know, maybe you're feeling a bit isolated, you know, you're no longer around your schoolmates, you're feeling a bit detached and a bit, you know, withdrawn, don't feel like you're fitting in or belonging. Um, Maybe you don't like the way things are online, Um, you know, maybe you're feeling a bit bored, maybe you're feeling a a bit chaotic, Um, you know, maybe you're comparing yourself to others who are taking this um, virtual reality a lot better than you are and learning. Because again, we all learn in different ways. So there's a lot of different fears that we're all currently fearing, but I feeling, but I must say to you that this is normal. So I want you to get real, get raw, and write them all down. Do this for me and do it more importantly for yourself, because this will help you get clear on what we're going to do tomorrow. So once you work out all your fears, then the next step is we're going to work out how we're going to eliminate those fears because you need to ask yourself this question next. With all the fears that you've written down, are they going to support you, nurture you, and give you your what you want at the end of 2020? Now, I just want a yes or a no answer from you. I don't want to no but or a yes but yes or no that's it now if it's a no that all all these fears that you've written down are not helping you are not supporting you are not lifting you up to get you to give you that confidence that courage and certainty to get to the end of 2020 to achieve that goal then we need to reframe and we need to to flip the switch and turn them into from a negative to a positive because these fears are there to protect you. Every single, it is within our human DNA for us to experience these fears because it's a sense of protection. It's a sense of preventing us from being in a dangerous situation, 
preventing us from, um, you know, I guess in the old, in the back in the um, old days, being eaten by a saber toothed tiger. So acknowledge that these fears are natural; they're normal. But sometimes they can take us to a point of where we can't function. And this is when it's bad. And this is when it's not ideal for us to, to learn, to, to be calm, to be conscious, and to be thriving in our environment. So I do hope you enjoyed today's session on a mindset reset because we need to get clear. We need to bring up all the demons up front now. So we can face the demon, smack it on the on the bum and say, okay, see you later. You know, you're not my destiny. I am my destiny. So with that, tune in tomorrow and we're going to go into some detail about how we can really gain control of our lives um, through some various components, um, which I'll go through. So please tune in tomorrow at 8 a.m. Uh, Sydney time. And I hope you have a wonderful Wednesday. And don't forget to always be you, have courage, and live life with no limits. This is Paula Dunn from the Limited Edition Leadership Academy signing off. Until tomorrow, bye.